so I am now, I just announced that I'm pregnant, um, and I am in my 12th week. So this is the last week of my first trimester, and it went by so fast. Um, and I wanted to give you a little update about some more symptoms that I had, because last time I spoke with you, um, I really didn't have any, because I was still pretty, pretty early on in my pregnancy. Um, but I've definitely had a ton. Sorry. Sorry, I just got home from work. Um, I've definitely had a ton of um, symptoms. So, the first symptom that started, other than like the boob tenderness and the cramping and stuff like that, was food aversions. Um, started with chicken. Um, I can't, if it's breaded and fried, chicken I'm okay with it but if it is um, like chicken breast or any other type of chicken I get really nauseous and I can't even think about it right now um, I get really nauseous can't go near chicken um, I can't go near any like fish smells um, brushing your teeth makes you gag like I haven't thrown up it hasn't been that bad so I can't complain because I know some people have it a lot worse than me but I've just been nauseous constantly nauseous um, throughout all times of the day like it's not just morning sickness it's all day long so I've had that I have nausea but not to the point where I throw up um, and then taste aversions what else have I had taste aversions to? I'm trying to think. Um, just certain smells. And I can't even tell you what they are. Like sometimes I walk in the house and like my kitchen, my new kitchen, like I can't take the smell. Like we're gonna redo it. Not because of that, but because we just bought the house and we wanna redo it how we want it. But um, I can't, just can't take the smell. And it's not, there's nothing really wrong with it. I just, get so nauseous every time I, I don't know it's so weird um what else am I nauseous to? I can't smell alcohol um it really really grosses me out which I guess is good um I do really want a margarita though um and then I've also had really intense food cravings. so I know I told you about lemons um I crave salty and sour things warheads I've been craving some junk food lately and I've just been eating it and I know it's not really that good for me but I've been eating a lot of sour candy um, and ice cream. I've always loved ice cream. But pickles, lemons, salt and vinegar chips. What else have I craved? Uh, bagels and cream cheese, don't know why. Um, just random stuff. Um, waffle crisp cereal, I've craved. But, um, Yes, that's it. And then, what other symptoms have I had? Headaches. I've been starting to get headaches. I haven't had them the whole pregnancy. I'm um, starting to get headaches. I come home and I just don't feel well. I don't feel well. Um, it's my head. I'm nauseous by the time I get home from work. And it feels like I'm getting the flu every night. And I have to go to sleep by 9.30 because I'm exhausted. And I can get... 10 hours of sleep and I'm still exhausted by 9.30. So I'm hoping, everyone says the second trimester, it's not like that, so I'm, I'm just waiting for it. The end of this week is my second trimester, so I'm pretty excited. Um, we saw another ultrasound and the baby was actually kicking and moving its arms. This was a week and a half ago. So that was really exciting. It's so weird to see something moving inside you. Um, what else? We find out the gender at our next visit, which I'm excited. We're doing a gender reveal um, with the baseballs that you hit with the powder. So I'm gonna give my doctor the two baseballs. One has pink powder, one has blue powder. I'm um, gonna have her just throw the one that it's not out for me and not tell me, because I wanna find out with my family and my friends. Um, What else? I have gained four and a half pounds you're supposed to not gain more than five. Well, a, a normal, someone that's in a normal weight for their height is supposed to gain between 25 and 35. 
if I'm not mistaken, during their pregnancy. And the first trimester, you're not supposed to be more than five. So I stayed under five. I'm pretty proud of myself. I was eating really healthy in the beginning and now not so much. So I have to um, control myself a little bit. Um, yeah, so I can see a little bump. No one else really can unless like I'm in a bathing suit. You can tell because, well, not really. It just looks like I'm fat. I think that's the hardest thing about the first trimester for anyone that's going through it is no one knows you're pregnant. So people just think you're getting fat and it's uncomfortable for you because you're like, you know, I eat a lot, but I'm, it, I'm not getting that much weight. It's not even weight. It's just you're bloated and water weight and it's your body's changing. So your stomach's kind of out. It's like pushing your already fat out and no one knew. So I was happy to just be like, all right, guys, I'm pregnant. Um, I'm not turning into a hippo. So, um, yeah, so I gained four and a half pounds. And what else do I have to tell you guys? I'm trying to think. Um, I'm trying to start playing baby crying noises <laughs> around my dogs because they're going to be a hot mess. Because my dogs are so jealous and um, they got to get used to uh, not getting all the attention, <laughs> which is going to be hard for them. Um, what else can I tell you? I'm trying to think. I don't know. It's just weird. You just feel like my stomach always just feels swollen and achy. I guess because it's expanding and, um, yeah, it's so weird. And I am telling my job tomorrow. I told some of my coworkers and they were really excited for me, but you know, I just started kind of. Um, but they were excited and they said my job's not gonna care. So I'm just relieved to just get it out there and just say I'm pregnant because I think as a, as a woman, like starting a new job, um, you know, you want people to take you serious and when you're pregnant sometimes um, they don't. And it's scary because you just worry about am I gonna get fired even though you know it's illegal, but um, it's scary. And um, luckily I work in a field where they accept pregnancy and you know I'm a nurse so it's a little more understanding in that aspect and uh, I work with my bosses are mostly female so they just understand a little bit more and I'm pretty lucky that way not that guys don't understand I'm just saying like it's a little different when they've gone through it so they get it a little bit more so I'm telling them tomorrow because that was my biggest struggle during this pregnancy I was very nervous to tell my job um, but other than that, still taking my prenatal vitamins, still rubbing my stomach every night with that oil and lotion. <laughs> and um, that's about it. We did our announcement. I'll post it. I'll um, put it at the end of this video so you could see it because it was cute. It was like a movie poster. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'm entering the second trimester. And I think halfway through my second trimester, I'll post another video just giving you a little update. And maybe I'll post my gender reveal video. Um, but I'll definitely see you guys then. And thanks for watching. And I hope you learned something because I'm learning something every day. And I'm happy to share it. Um, but see you guys soon.